Hey Miller, welcome back to the channel. Today's February 24th, 2023. Today I'm changing the backdrop. As you can see, I'm at the house in my backyard. And I thought I would make a quick video on a side hustle we started this year. By the way, I have noticed that my real estate videos are not doing as well as my convenience store videos. So I'm gonna try to focus on making videos of the store. So on to the video. Some of you probably saw my previous short where I spoke about how we sold Valentine's Day decorations on a busy intersection in my city. My family has done this for years. They buy teddy bears, chocolate hearts, flowers, and make Valentine's Day decorations for people to gift to their significant others. We had tried this side hustle once like 15 years ago, but we never took it seriously. This year, to my surprise, my wife started buying everything to sell again. She asked for a friend of the family if she could borrow the parking lot of her business. She kindly agreed to help, and we hired my two sister-in-law to help us make and sell the arrangements. My sister-in-law, mother-in-law, and my wife worked for a few days putting together the arrangements. They got ideas from TikTok and from their own imagination. They combined colors and patterns and plastics to create something appealing for everyone. To be honest, I suck in this area. My wife is very creative. This is where she shines. We had a variety of prices. Some started at $8 and the most expensive ones were sold for $75. We tried to stick to a 50% profit margin, but some of the rose arrangements had a much higher profit margin. At first, we weren't going to sell real roses, but just a few days before Valentine's Day, which was my birthday, by the way, I saw a Facebook post that someone was wholesaling boxes of roses. A box of 10 dozens for $120. Basically $10 a dozen or 83 cents per rose. We gambled our luck with three boxes of roses. It was definitely a risky move since we had never sold roses. And as we all know, they have a very short lifespan. But thanks to our Lord, we did very good with the roses. We had $15 arrangements that we sold for $65, basically quadrupling our investments. Unfortunately, the business where we sold did not have electricity. I decided to invest in a Harbor Freight generator to have some power. I also bought an 18,000 lumen light and put up a small canopy that we already had. I brought five tables from my house and a few chairs so we could relax in between customers. We bought most of the items we sold downtown at Dollar Tree and in San Antonio, where we usually buy the toys for our store. We took pictures and advertised in Facebook so we could let the whole city know what we were selling. We ended up selling $5,000 in three days. After inventory and payroll expenses, we netted a bit more than $3,000. Not bad for our first time. What did we learn from this experience? Sorry guys, my script was flying away. Lesson number one. There is money everywhere. Never think that you are too rich or too cool for a side hustle. Lesson number two. People are always desperate to buy whatever and always leave the shopping for the last minute. Lesson number three, it would be wiser to rent a U-Haul to avoid carrying everything back and forth. Lesson number four, I think that we could have easily sold $10,000 if we had more inventory. We basically sold out everything we took. Lesson number five, we need to make inexpensive 10 or $15 arrangements for teachers. They were in high demand. Maybe a simple coffee mug with a rose. Remember, I'm not that creative one. Lesson number six. Customers look for certain characters to gift. Pokemon, Star Wars, Mickey, Stitch, etc. And the last one on my list, lesson number seven. 
put up a second location to sell even more okay guys so i'm gonna wrap it up for this video i hope you enjoyed the idea and hope i motivated you to continue creating wealth and to think outside the box make sure you stay tuned for additional videos i had two of my employees sell toys with a cart at the george washington parade it was also a success if you haven't subscribed to the channel this is the time right now my living room is filled with easter eggs we are getting ready to sell in easter thanks and god bless by the way guys one of my mobile homes got evicted unfortunately we were going through a lawsuit and it appears i lost so stay tuned